Hey, what's up guys, I'm Boyan. Welcome to today's AI. If you're building in the AI space and still chasing the best model, you're already behind. Because last year, it wasn't about pure model upgrades. It was a year where intelligence became a commodity and that changed everything in terms of how we build, how we learn and how we create. So the real question now isn't which model is going to pick. It's what becomes possible where intelligence becomes cheap, fast, and everywhere. AI generally changed my life last year. I started as a research scientist. By the end of it, I built an AI research company to raise pre-seed funding and built one of the fast-growing tech channels on YouTube. But the biggest shift wasn't just the speed. It's a freedom of creativity. AI helped me move between research, product, and storytelling without any friction and ideas that used to take months to realize but now became days or even hours. And I believe if that worked for me, that would work for you as well. So this year, I'm going to become a super connector, building products that matters while helping builders like me to move fast. So let's dive in. What actually happened in the AI space and where is it heading in the coming wave? So here's my wildlife summary. AI moved from answers to outcomes, not just generating content anymore, but planning, integrating with tools, taking actions, and completing your real work, where intelligence becomes a commodity that advantage shifts to startups now. Suddenly, it's all about product taste, workflow design, and most importantly, product distribution. In the AI software development space, cursor made vibe coding feel like the default option, and lovable turned prompts into working web apps in minutes. And these shifts, they're not incremental improvements, they felt like category shifts. Now in the agentic AI space, James Pat pushed the idea of AI workspace that handles the slides, spreadsheets, and emails all based on what you're actually trying to accomplish. And they become one of the fastest growing AI company. Another example is Manus. They recently got offered over $1 million from Meta. And that clearly sends a signal that agentic AI is now a must-have feature you either go all in or what your competitors do. The bigger shift was really a platform shift. Previously, the model itself felt like a product, but now the product became everything else around the model, the interface people interact with, the integration and workflows, and the memories that improves over time. AI stopped being just a tool, it started becoming a place where all your work happens. And once that happens, agents become essential, and one agent clearly isn't enough for the real work, because real work is a series of tasks and decision-making process you need to research, execute, review, and verify. So responsibility and accountability is a key, especially where outcomes have consequences. So the winning patterns become multi-agents, not one agent that does everything, but a fleet of working agents that work together in research, execution, review, and safety check. And that's when a new problem showed up. How to get them work together at scale? Like how they communicate to each other? How does each agent remember what task they completed? And when does human step in? This is where agentic communication comes in. And last year also made multimodal AI feels normal when text wasn't the end game now and voice became the faster interface for many tasks. Vision can now connect AI to the physical world and video understanding and generation become a part of the real creative process. So now you get this continuous loop. As you speak, the system understands a border context, it reasons, generates, it takes actions, and then continues. Natural language and your imagination becomes a new programming language. You can describe what you want to build. AI can ship something that works. And that's a huge unlock because apps are now cheaper to produce. So attention and trust becomes harder and more expensive to earn. Now let's talk about what I think is going to happen next. If intelligence become abundant, the winners will build on top of it, just like how you build on the cloud in the last generation. Now you can treat AI like electricity. It's widely available, cheap to access, and more powerful when you design the right system around it. Last year, we saw multi-agent systems emerge as a pattern. This year, startups will package it into real products. The multi-agents become more reliable at scale. 
tokens and bettings will become a core cool primitive layer. The best products will tap into this to build memory and retrieval in a system that improve over time. Everyone can claim that they are AI native, but that will mean nothing now. The real mode for AI startups is shifting to trust. Winners will prove reliability, safety, transparency, and most importantly, clear our eyes. And my last prediction is vertical agents will win over general agents. While general agents are impressive and capable of completing 80% of human tasks, the real value comes from those 20% highly sophisticated works that require domain expertise. The winning products will focus on one job, deep integration, and measurable results. So if you are building in the coming wave, Here's my take. Don't just ship features, ship results. Build something that gets smarter over time when more people use it and make trust something you can prove, not just promise. And think about distribution from day one. Focus on the glue, the integration that makes your product harder to leave. And remember this, the real winners won't have the flashiest demo, but they have the AI that quietly runs the business and that delivers the results.